I don't sweat, beer just leaks out. <laughs> Say a sentence for us. Oh yeah. Aluminum, free aluminum. Oh, yeah. Aluminium. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> aluminum. And this is Cat, right? Cat, yes, hello. And Do Cat, what are you? Right? Show us your special badge. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Very special NARBC badge. <laughs> filming for the show. That's it. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We are going to go on an expedition with my friend here, Miss Kat Aaliyah. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. If you haven't checked that out, I'm gonna put a link down in the description before. She is a very, very kind person, and we've been meaning to do an episode together. We just keep on missing each other. I keep having to run away from Texas, get in trouble, and uh, I know I'm out of breath now. Do you think you could do my top of the morning for me? Top of the morning, dear. <laughs> Wait, one more time. Top of the morning to you, Lonnie. It's official. I'm 2% Irish, you know. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. 2%. 2%. Um, my favorite episode of yours recently was when you had your grandma on. When you guys were you like that? Of course I like that, dude. I, I also have I've done videos with my grandma checking out my animals. But it seemed, it seemed like you. It seemed like she was the one that like kind of had influence on you as animals. She was had been an animal keeper for a long yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Man. I mean, she hasn't kept them, but she loves them, and you can just tell that she loves them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, nice. she tell she would be the one to say, "Don't squash the bugs because there's no reason to." You know, she, so she kind of got me into animals. Yeah, that was yeah. good. I'm gonna put a link. I mean, there's already a link for Aaliyah's channel down below. But here's the little card right here where you can also click on that specific episode see, with her grandma. It's a really good one. Thank you. you can check out. And uh, we got we got like an hour left in the show here, or something like that, and. Just about. Finally get to do a video together and we're gonna go around and just check out like some cool, you know geckos. I do know geckos. I know snakes. So we're gonna check out crested geckos within reason, maybe other other geckos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And colubrids or maybe other snakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's right. find some cool colubrids. Let's do it. <laughs> Did you see like anything that stuck out to you while you were walking around the show at all? Something that just like grabbed you and was like that? Was the coolest thing I've seen is gecko wise at the show. Is there, you have something? Gecko like wise, um, I've basically seen every kind of gecko there is, so I just, I'm just, it's it's nothing that... impresses me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes, there is one, in fact. One, one very special one. We're going to go, one? we'll start with the best and work our way down to the worst. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. This way, this way, it was the top. Not all the way at the right side. You guys lead. You guys lead. I will follow. I will follow. Nope, wrong way. Oh. <laughs> it's the other way. Just kidding. It's it's the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Our mama here at Creepy Exotics. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. <laughs> Run away. This thing is crazy. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Sorry. Do you, oh, you know her pretty well? <laughs> no, I just, I like back scratches. <laughs> yeah, look at this. That's the most amazing tricolor crested gecko I've ever seen. That everyone says is photoshopped. This is a photoshopped gecko. <laughs> live. A live photoshopped gecko. It's yep. being photoshopped as we speak. Yeah. Just by walking. Exactly. That is really amazing. It is, isn't it? That's a true tricolor right there. It's like, yeah, the, the, the three colors are, are very evenly spaced on the sides there. Man. Yep. Extremely. That's an extreme, extreme. <laughs> Extreme <laughs> tricolor, high, 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 high contrast. <laughs> yeah, and it's just the way that just the just the crests are white too. Like it's very yeah well balanced color. Come yeah. back, please. <laughs> yep, that's amazing. 
Are crested geckos like the only gecko that don't have eyelids? Are there other species that don't have eyelids or are they the only eyelidless gecko species? No, I think most okay. are actually, yeah, most geckos, I think almost all geckos don't have eyelids. Really? I think all oh, geckos so I've got it don't have eyelids. So all geckos don't have eyelids? I think so. At least all the rachidactylus species don't. Okay. Yeah, no, geckos do not have eyelids. They lick their eyeballs. See, them, this, every day, every day you learn. <laughs> Why are geckos your favorite? What, how did that happen? Well... They have, okay, so ever since I was little, I loved dragons. Like, Spyro was the shit. I played Spyro every day, all the time, and I would draw dragons, and geckos were the closest thing to that for me. And they would be all over the house, you know, because in Texas we have house geckos, and so uh, I would go outside and catch them and keep them for a couple weeks until my parents made me get rid of them. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, they're just cute, they're squishy, and adorable, and derpy, and they're just like a cat, but as a reptile. A reptile, with the eyelashes too, that really helps it, it accentuate that thing. Exactly. It's like a cat that's a reptile. A cat reptile. So that's you were, so like cats were like your big thing before reptiles? Oh yeah, I named, yeah, I named myself Catalia when I was because little. Because of your I, affinity for cats. Yes, yes. It's all making sense to me now, I you didn't know any of this stuff, I didn't know any of this stuff. Gosh, I'm gonna save up and just buy, instead of like buying a car, you know, some necessity, I'll just uh, get a gecko just like this. Look at this guy. This guy thinks he can just walk wherever he wants to with snakes all day long. This guy's been holding snakes the entire weekend at the house. That's pretty that, true. That is very true. <laughs> been at the house. I know, but I know you've been holding snakes there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andrew Stam. Hey guys. Check it out, he's eating food. Yeah, I'm eating beef jerky. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is a, the cow retake that belongs to Mr. Jake Clocks. I don't know why I can't say your name right now. This cow re retake belongs to Mr. Jesus. This cow retake belongs here to Mr. Jake Klotz. There's a Triple BT episode with this cow when she was much younger with Jake. I'll put the link right here in the description. And we also, we've also figured out that uh, cat's favorite colors are the colors of this snake. Yes. The white, the black, and the, the gold orange colors, which is why that gecko was her favorite. So yes. we're figuring out the root. I'm, I'm learning a lot more about you. I feel like I knew some stuff about you already, but I've learned a lot more just in this past like 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah well, I got good. more stories. Let's just keep telling stories. All right, all right. What's, uh, what was what was one of your most embarrassing moments? Oh, gosh. Uh, everything embarrasses me. <laughs> <laughs> my face is always red, so one of my most embarrassing moments, it's probably like, I don't know, when I was holding someone's gecko once, it was like this really beautiful, you know, expensive gecko, and it just goes and smacks and hits the ground, you know, jumps and plops down. That was embarrassing. Yeah, I've that happened to me with the tricolor. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> like, with that tricolor the other day, like I was holding it, I just went, whoop, onto the <laughs> thing, and then... I was just like, yeah, I, th I think Will's just said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's known that the cows are pretty much docile, right? Like, they're, they're they, known they, for their yeah, docile nature. Yeah, they come nature. from a docile type of, yeah. temperament to begin with. Um, Kevin at New England Reptile kind of said that, and he's been absolutely right ever since. I've, I've never met one that wasn't really mellow. And they also make great ambassador snakes because of the fact that they're so stark black and white, it just catches people's eyes like a Dalmatian or something. You know? <laughs> Ooh, I forgot to show you guys something. Last night at the auction, I won this. Is that a holster or a wallet holder? Uh, right now, I'm using it to hold my wallet and my phone. I'm gonna film you filming me <laughs> while I'm here filming you. Do you guys see each other? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if you can see yourself on Aaliyah's vlog. <laughs> Big shout out to these guys for letting us use, hang out with their snake twice today now. We got an interview on Triple B TV with, with Mr. Owen here. It's gonna be coming out, you know, it's gonna be months from now, but you'll get to see. We hang out with the snake and we learned about some Irish show action. Irish reptile, reptiles on the Irish side of the world. <laughs> found a table with some really cool <laughs> colubrids. We're really hoping to find colubrids and really cool ones, and we found some really cool ones. Check out this one right here. This is like probably the most exotic colubrid I've ever seen in my life. I had, a, I had one of the corn snake for like my entire childhood, and I never got one. I wanted to have a snake when I was a kid, so you see what happened to me. 
Yeah, yeah. But, but no, we weren't allowed to have, no. Not even like a cactus, nothing. Not even an air plant. Not allowed it. And so you're making up for it now? Oh, I have like 1,500 corns <laughs> and big birds and Pac-Man. Yeah, and I garden and I, I make <laughs> furniture and yeah. They go, what the heck do you want to? That's right, damn it. I've not only learned a lot about Aaliyah, I'm learning a lot about other things that I didn't know about that she's teaching me about, like the fact that there is <laughs> Don't make an, fun aqu of me. an aquatic <laughs> colubrid. Look, we found she found it. It's in water. It sure is. I mean, it, it literally fits the definition of an aquatic snake. <laughs> All jokes aside, one of the coolest colubrids at this table is right here. She weighs a lot. There you go. This is a Texas indigo snake. Um, do, you know, do you know if they're endangered in Texas or just uh, threatened? Protected. Protected. Are protected. Because, because of their look. If they were endangered, they wouldn't be able to We would be able to keep them. You'd have that perfect. Yeah. Which is why the Eastern Oh, even here you wouldn't be able to have them? If they were endangered. If something ends up on the federal endangered list, like the San Francisco garters, which we were talking about earlier, you can't, even touch, them. You can't touch them. They can have them in Canada, they can have them in Europe, but can't they can't have them, have them here. So this is, you guys know my indigo snakes at home, this is this is the close, close cousin of the eastern indigo snake, which is the Texas variety. And it's not usually this color, as you can see, it's very, very deep in shed, so yeah. a little more brown than it would usually be, but still has a, a quite different look than the easterns. Look at the little bits of orange peeking through. Right, 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 yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah, they get that flecking, right? Thank you very You're much. You're very welcome. You guys enjoy. Have a great show. Dude, look how blue the belly is right now. Isn't that trip. cool? Yeah. Dave just got his first reticulated python. You guys want to see it? Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I am so excited to have this retic. This is awesome. going to have to go to his channel if you want to see it for real. Yeah, Dave, Dave has been here vlogging the whole show. I'm going to make sure there's a link for his channel down in the description. If for some reason you don't know who this guy is. I haven't vlogged anything. So yeah, Garrett has not Yeah, yeah. Were you filming Thank you for watching my vlog. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't Ga Garrett I'm vlogs on my hey, channel. Hang on a second, Cuscoites. I'm going to open this bag and show you the retic for real. Oh, I love it. She is a beauty. So the reason I got this guy is because whoa, whoa, whoa hey, how are you? The reason I got this girl is because this girl was born through something called parthenogenesis. There was no father, so her mother just popped. <sighs> Even if I tell you to cut this, you're not gonna cut it. Because. <laughs> You told me that, that, it, that I'm not gonna cut it. All right, where was I? Yeah, so, parthenogenesis. So the mother just popped out this egg without a father. Egg was viable. This little beauty came out of that egg. So this is a girl without a dad, and we call that parthenogenesis. And so I just had to have this retic. You're her dad now. Dave. I'm her daddy now. Cat, hold my giant snake. I would love to, but I might steal it. There, there will be no stealing of the snake. Run away, run away. <laughs> All right, guys, we are shutting this place down. They're starting to dim the lights on us a little bit, and I think that we got a... I'm just really happy we finally got a chance to film. We got, yeah, I got a full too. video. Thank you yeah. very much for, for coming around with me, Always. doing it, making it happen. Yeah. Again, link down in the description for Cat's channel. And uh, pff, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next one. All right, and if you're still wondering why I'm naked in a hotel room, you can... There will be a video in the future on it, so just stay tuned to that. And also... Uh...